Hi everyone, my name is uh, Ziv and I'm co-founder at Hello Doctor. I am, I'm a graphic designer, I've been designing for the past 15 years or so. I had the pleasure of working with the most interesting startup companies in Israel. Um, my last role was senior designer at the eBay Innovation Center where I left a few months ago to start Hello Doctor. In short, um, Hello Doctor is a mobile application that empowers people to better control their health. And the Low Doctor is completely different than what I usually do. Um, before starting a Low Doctor, um, all the projects I worked, on, I worked on had social elements in them. Many of them included happy faces of happy people sharing happy moments, or giving high fives to each other, or exploring new music, or planning a vacation around the world, or sharing exciting, and sh sharing exciting uh, purchases. Anyway, I had a lot of fun working on these projects, but then I started the Low Doctor. And the Low Doctor completely scared me. I was afraid it won't be as half as sexy as the previous proje projects I worked on. Uh, the product I was about to design was meant for 80 million Americans who actively collect and manage medical records today. They do that because the healthcare system in the US is completely fragmented. Doctors hardly talk to each other <coughs> and sometimes don't even have access to their patients' medical records. Um, the patients themselves are responsible and expected to manage their medical records, especially when in complex medical conditions such as heart disease and cancer. And so um, I was about to design, in my mind at least, a product for boring and disabled or sad and slow, completely non-techy sick people who go to hospitals and they do tests and they wait for results and tell the story over and over and over again to the doctors after spending so much time in the waiting room and they wear dark clothes and believe me at some point I even imagine their hair is a total mess or at least that's the picture I had in mind. So I'm um, not exactly sure how to deal with all this, I just started the design process and though I've been there myself as a patient it was very hard for me to relate to my sick audience um, but I just started designing and I knew that the very first thing that I need to solve is that medical binder. That binder we all use to put medical records in. <coughs> so after a few days of designing and redesigning and then redesigning again, this is what I came up with. A literal transition from a physical binder to a digital one. But to be honest, I wasn't completely happy with the results. Uh, I had to ask myself, does taking a solution from offline to online means using exactly what people know today from the real world? I asked myself, where is my added value as a product designer and a graphic designer? I got to the conclusion that just another binder of papers is not what people really need. So back to the design process, um, I started thinking of them as mobile users and not just as big pe people who are sick. And those users, they demand added value. And indeed, the first version of a low doctor was full of added value. When we interviewed patients, we realized all the, uh, medic all the medical records looked the same to them. So with a digital uh, binder, all your records are tagged with easy to identify sticky notes. And the records are tag tagged by date and type, so you can immediately and, um, recognize them. And they're always with you, uh, allowing you to swipe left and right in a chronological order. Um, so you can update your doctor on recent test results and recent changes in your condition. In addition to the chronologi chronological navigation, um, all your records can be accessed by record type. So you can get to each of them immediately when the doctor asks you. And drag a record upwards to access previous tests of the same type to show your doctor changes over time in your condition. That was the first version of Hello Doctor and for the first time I felt pleased with the result. But my design was still meant for people who are sick. And the more I worked on this project, I realized that I should not be designing for people who are sick. I should be designing for normal people, just normal people. 
I believe each and every one of us can and should have access to our medical records. And we should all have tools to manage and understand our condition. And if you're sick, you don't want to be reminded that you're sick. And if you're sick, you don't want to be treated like a sick person. It took me quite some time to understand it. We all just want to be normal people. And that's when I started design for normal people. I tried to think what added value can this great mobile solution give them. And that's when I asked myself what it means from a visual point of view. And at that point, I started focusing on building a healthcare management tool, not just a binder anymore. We added the ability to add notes to each record, so you won't forget to ask your doctor about side effects and doses, or ask about test results or raise concerns, or note anything that comes to mind between meetings with your doctor. I designed an extremely simple and useful pop-ups that help you understand your medical records. No more medical terms, you have absolutely no idea what they mean. Then I took all this medical information and simplified it into friendly charts anyone can understand, even me. Notice how even the color palette started changing over time, how it became more cheerful and optimistic. Now that's a product I love. So right, I can't use photos of happy people and happy moments, but I can treat my users just like Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and Evernote does. Just like regular people, just like mobile consumers. And the mobile he health industry is growing quickly, but unfortunately, many of these services present poor user experience. Mobile consumers design, demand, I'm sorry, mobile consumers demand a great user experience and great design. And even though it's just a mobile app, they want it. So right, companies in our industry may have different challenges than other in industries. Okay. Um, they have, may have um, challenges related to privacy and security, but still, your users are simple users. So if you're running a mobile health company, invest time and money in user experience design and design because you owe it to your users. Thank you.